Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change back your iPhone screen color to the normal setting in two different ways. So let's get started. Now, this is the iOS 18 update where you can actually change the color on the iPhone screen tint to something different. So if you're looking to change the color of this, this is what you're going to do. Pick any app, doesn't matter. You're going to simply press and hold that app to get to the option that says edit home screen. Again, doesn't matter whatever app you pick, you simply press and hold and then click on edit home screen. Now, once you do that, it's gonna start wiggling around, doesn't matter. You're gonna see there's an edit button on the left hand corner. You're gonna click on it and then click on customize right here. And once you get to here, you're gonna see a menu like this pop up and you're gonna simply choose a light mode. And as you can see here, the screen color has changed back to normal. And if you want, if you had it a large, you can also make it small here as well. And if you had a dark or light, you can adjust it accordingly to get to back to the normal setting. So that's going to be one way. Another way you might also have turned on is if you have a filter or a color changing effect, you're going to go into your setting to check this setting. So you're going to go into your setting from there on, go to accessibility. And then in accessibility, you're going to see display and text size. Right here, you're going to want to in make sure that these settings are turned off. You want to make sure this look like this, especially this setting here. You want to turn it off. Smart invert, you want to turn that off as well. And then you also want to turn off classic invert. And then also this color filter. If you set one of these color filter accidentally in the past, as you can see here, it can make your color screen different. So we're going to turn that off completely. So turn that off. Turn the setting off and your iPhone screen should be back to normal setting just like how you originally got it. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.